Raj. Raj, do you need some help? Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. Is it paranoia? You know what they say. It's not paranoia. If someone is out to get you, yeah. Third time this week. It's getting worse. First one was small stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Have you reported it? Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of, but I don't know who to trust anymore. How about a stranger? Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait, that's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. That's what I was saying. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Right? Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me if they start hitting critical systems. Oh, let me just jot it right down in my notebook. Yes. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that would really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. All right, hold. No, no, hold no, Y to fine. track that one. Let's yeah, I don't, I don't let's do that. Just blew up. Find out why. Be careful. Wait, so point it this way. Is it right in here or? Oh, it's it's that, of course. Okay, I changed the button. What did I change it to? There it is. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. It seems to not go anywhere there. Oh, it is really all over the place. So we might need to go up. Up, oh, Ryder. <laughs> I thought for sure there was a railing. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Did he do it, or do I need to actually press something on it? I assume he did it. Can I get through here? No. Can't fit. Got that fat ass. Does he even have a fat ass? Um, well, he has, he's got a little bit of cake. What was that, Ryder? What were you doing there? Dance as he came down the steps. Let's go over here and hit this one. Oh, this one has had some <laughs> had some trouble. Anything from that? Damage done was caused by a direct override of the safety logs. Numerous people are listed as working here. Cross-reference data. Okay. Oh, here we are. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Okay, there is the wiring, and yeah, we'll have to go up. Just put this away. Oh, it's in her office. Did she do it? Oh, maybe it's not in her office. Uh, where does that actually link to? Don't mind me just blasting this in your face. Oh look, it actually does cause a glow all over the place. It must be super bright. Is it behind? Oh, here it is. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. 
All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. I guess I do need to go to the Hyperion, so... So it's down, right? The down this way? Is there a down over this way, or do I need to go under... under here? I think we came out here, right? Yeah. Still kind of getting the lay of the land. Oh, hello! You know, there's a saboteur on board. Have you heard? Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? Her reactions understand of which one was Addison? <laughs> it wasn't my favorite. Well, I mean, I guess I can kind of see it, but eh. I'm just going with it because that's the personality I want him to have. She understands the stakes. If I fail, we... You won't. Let's hope not. You won't. That's the end of it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Oh, right. My sister. Come on. I don't know why it stopped there. It's nice that I don't get blasted by the sound of that, like the Mass Effect relays. <laughs> they got loud. Alright, where is this saboteur? Can I pull out my gun? I cannot. All looks very nice, though. You. Who's been here for a year? Yeah, I guess it didn't go so well. Oh right, they've been here for a year. Okay. Zara Kellis. Yes. I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never. I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omni-Tool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing, and it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Pattles. A third party seems likely. Hmm. You've been set up. Looks like someone is using both you and Raj to cover their tracks. They need pretty high-level access for that. Still, it's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. All right, where is it? It's off over that way somewhere. I keep wanting to think that the thing is up there, but that's just the compass. Also, her name is Lani. That's Hawaiian. It means heaven. Pathfinder, it's good to see you. Sorry, I'm getting off track. Word is there's <laughs> been trouble on the station. <laughs> It'll get better. <laughs> yeah, well, be positive. We're here now. It'll get better. That's what I've been telling people. You're here now. As soon as we establish outposts, everything will even out. I'm sure of it. Uh, what's it like here? How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know it's a rose-colored outlook, but someone's got to keep the positivity coming, right? 
Why are you here? Why did you join the initiative? Ah, the most popular question on the station. Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? Captain Dunn. Of all the captains I've piloted for, she's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? What about your family? I'm an orphan. My parents died on the Mindwar colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind. But I have friends here too. I love piloting. But I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. I have to go now. See you later. Take care. Sorry, there was a saboteur I was looking for before I got, a, got all caught up in conversation with you. I keep wanting to like stop and look at things, and I'm like, I should probably keep going and search for this, <laughs> this person. I guess it's going to be back on, um, on the Nexus. Oh, Cryobay. So we can choose to go either place. And maybe more places will open up eventually. Hello, has anyone seen a saboteur? Oh right, the security footage. That's what I was coming for. <laughs> I forgot while I was talking to Lonnie. Now great access, instability detected, timestamp scrambled, playback corrupted. This file is useless. Let's check another. Damage control. To Tiran Kandros from Jarantan. Kandros, as you're aware, there was a mutiny on board the Nexus during your absence. Events escalated quickly, but we believe it began with a fire in hydroponics and theft in the armory. Motivations for the uprising vary. Mob mentality was certainly a factor, but for the leaders, including your predecessor, former security director Sloan Kelly, it was a, or it was a conscious betrayal. Uh, there have been perfunctory attempts to catalog and address the damages caused by Sloan's people during the uprising. Supplies stolen, equipment broken, things of that nature. But I was hoping the militia could step in and draw up an official report. It's imperative we know what we are working with if we're going to survive. From Tan, to, uh, to Tan from Kandros, Director Tan, I need my people focused on defending the station, not taking inventory. If you really need militia oversight, I'll get Sergeant Nels to look at it. That said, it was my understanding the Exiles were more Calix's people than Sloan's. Isn't he the one that started the mutiny? From, uh, to Kandros from Tan, Calix Corvanus may have started it, but Sloan made her allegiances clear. I know she held you in high regard, but I hope you can be impartial when it comes to this task. Jutan from Kandro, Sloan Kelly's not who I thought she was. There won't be a problem. To Kandros from Tan, good. Then you won't object to sending a small and discreet reconnaissance team to find out where Sloan and the exiles have gone. When we get colonial efforts up and running, I don't want any surprises. Uh, report exiles to Tan from Kandros. Forwarding report from Recon Team 232. Trails cold. Found what looks like abandoned camps in the Pfeiffer system, but none with living inhabitants, only graveyards. The conspirator, conspirator Irida was among the dead, but not Sloan Kelly. Network access and stability detected. Playback corrupted. Oh, it's up there at the and top. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. I was just going to keep adding in more. I just have to keep going through them. Failsafe disabled. System resource failed. Administrator override required. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Someone working for Kandros, maybe. Mm. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled. But if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. 
You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. So I just need to walk around and scan every man <laughs> on both the Hyperion and the Nexus. I mean, all right. Is that a man? No, that's a lady. Black Widow. Ooh, ooh, the Black Widow. <laughs> Is it? I guess it's not a high level thing in this game. If we're getting it like right now. Assault rifle scope. Oh yeah, because I use a lot of assault rifles. Shield focusing. Yeah, take it all. Sir. Oh, it's just scan security people in the op center. Okay. <laughs> I was ready to scan every man. Yeah, that does make more sense. It's just the people that work for him. Excuse you. Oh, it's beep beeping. It's beep pooping. I have a feeling it's you. Inaccurate match. Oh. Okay, I have a feeling it's not you. Ooh. Data pad. Lieutenant, based on status report 16C, it seems we're no longer and we're no eh, it seems we're no closer to gaining a foothold in any sector. Without decent recon and greater intel on this enemy, I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. The, res the risks involved in continued loss of resources and lives make it hard to justify. With morale this low, we need to scale down expectations again. I've heard of us. We are working on accessing more power from the Hyperion. Hey, it has marked everybody. I was just going to wander around looking for them. Accurate match. Sorry to bother you. Sorry to shine that light right in your eyes. Is this a marker down below? Okay, this person must be down here. Down by the, the tram. Or, oh, actually on board, I guess. close. Hey, I see you making spooky moves over here. What are you doing, sir? Let me just get a good scan. This person is not a match. All right, all right. You're free to go. All right, getting some beeps. Getting some cheeky beeps. close by. I keep forgetting that there's a marker. <laughs> oh, they are down here somewhere. Are any of you... Oh, you over here. Yeah, the one looking inside there. Maybe it's you. Scan results show a partial positive. Target is most likely suspect. Who is he? Dale Atkins reports to Kandros' department, assigned to station security. Dale. Dale, you giblet head. <laughs> I guess I should say that more like a Hey Kill voice. Dale, you giblet head. Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. Is that what you call it? Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... Yeah, so what? You're gonna kill everybody else? You're gonna cause problems all over? I sympathize, but no, your actions are unforgivable. Whatever happened back then, hurting people now makes no sense. What do you know? <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them, 
Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. It's not up to me. Not my call. The Nexus leaders will make that decision. That lot make a decision? That'll be the day. Oh, viability points. We just made things a little bit better. 73 points better. Oh, three skill points. I did look through the all the skills too. And I really want some flamethrower, I think. Rank one, let's see. I didn't look through all the details. I just kind of glanced over what the what each of them do. But I I really do want some of that. God, that looks cool. Uh, short range jet of flame causes damage, bonus damage to armor and ongoing burn damage. Unshielded enemies held in the jet catch fire. Let's get it. Oh, and recharge speed. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. We got two points in flamethrower. Confirm and exit. Yes, ma'am. And they can do their own thing. Oh, I need to also assign my next quest. God, the stuff is just opening up all over the place. Missing arcs. I need to find the leads on the arcs. That's probably going to be a while. Um, for the Nexus, first murderer. Speak with the prison guard. All right. Oh, yeah, toggle that tract. I want that on. Well, let's head out and speak with the prison guard. Where even is the prison? Tram technicians, please report to the Hyperion coupling annex. Oh, they've got those, like, glass prisons. Like, they've got... You know, whenever they've got... Uh, what, uh, what is the name for it? Whenever you've got some villain in like a movie or something, there's a trope name I can't think of. It's like uh, something storage, but you've got some villain who's too plot important to get rid of. So you put them in a big glass cage and then have all the people come in and talk to them while they stand there all smugly and tell their like whatever stupid plan they've got. All right. Well, here we are at our glass cage of emotion. Sergeant Aker. Help you. Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkin Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkin, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanting to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. I'm not feeling the voice acting as much in this game as in some of the <laughs> previous games. Occasionally, it feels like they just handed them some lines and didn't tell them what they're supposed to be, like, feeling. Like when he said, help you? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be like, can I help you? But like, help you? But, I don't know, it seemed like poor delivery. Um, Not why I'm here. I'm not here to exile you. Told your wife I'd look into things. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. And then he ended up dead? So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. Well, yeah, so it's unintentional. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them, but I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording, it's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. The evidence will decide. I mean, the only evidence is just that tape, I guess. All right, let's see. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It'd be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. 
You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Kandros? You got some Kandros, tapes for me to watch? I want to watch a grisly murder. You got one of those for me? No news on the Turian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? It's the murder. Most foul. I spoke with Nilk and Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. And he was found guilty. So there was a trial, and he was found guilty? It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> so, there wasn't like actual evidence, they just kind of went anecdotal with it? I mean, innocent till proven guilty, right? Does that matter in space, in Andromeda? They I, I don't even know what the laws would be here. Do we have laws? That is the difference between murder and accidental death. In this case, motive plus opportunity plus eyewitness account equals murder. Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Too bad he doesn't say I should go. So where's the console that I can watch it on? Right here it is. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... <laughs> No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Hmm. That does sound pretty incriminating. So, the person is up here, I guess. Was their name Cassidy Shaw or something? Oh, it's you with the hair. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Huh. Yeah, was anyone else there? Like, they catch somebody who would actually shoot? Because, I mean, obviously they were running away from something. There was a sandstorm, but was there anything else? Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nelkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Why was he shocked? If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Nilkin regret it. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been killed. The reality of the act sinking in? It sounds like she's definitely made her mind up. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. Thank you. I appreciate the information. 
Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Ooh. Sounds like we might have to go and actually find his body. Tan? Tan? Can, what? See, there he goes again, making those little hops and jumps. We are working on accessing more power from the Hyperion. And now it's fine. That's like whenever you, you're on like a, a certain type of chair, like a leather chair or something, and you move just right, and it makes a fart sound, and then you're like, that wasn't me, and everybody's like, no, it definitely was, and you're like, no, it was the chair, and then you move again, and it doesn't do it, and they're like, see, it wasn't, it wasn't the chair, it was you after all. Direction 10. Ryder, you may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. His voice is so weird. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. He's, he's got certain pronunciations that are just a little bit off. Like his THs are almost like D sounds. I wonder if he, if the voice actor has an actual accent or if he's putting something on. Um. So what happened to these arcs? Any idea where they went? Nothing certain. But tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. That's what you care about, Did huh? you have some other business? The murder charge. I'm looking into the Nilk and Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. Body could real reveal a lot. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. We got so much more to ask about. Any other info on the missing arcs? Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. I'm going to keep doing this all the time, but I'm going to be just overanalyzing his accent. And the word investigate, he pronounced that as an et instead of an eight. I got to find out who this person is. I want to see what his uh, accent is. All right. Um, additional arcs. Sorry, I didn't pay much attention. Should you find clues? Please investigate. Without the other arcs, promise. Oh, there were other arcs. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. Mm, what troubles are there on the Nexus? It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you, it's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, is dead. So I've heard. What can you tell me about her? How did Gian Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Gian Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. I guess thankfully it was, you know, instant. That she didn't have some horrible, painful death. Candrus mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? 
criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we call them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. What about the Krogan? There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. Uh. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle, nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Well, maybe they're like that because nobody ever gives them a chance. Come on. Yeah, why are you being spacist? Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant Jeez. species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Maybe your people uplifted them poorly. Maybe you should have helped them more. Maybe it's all on you, Director Tan. You personally did this. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the early days of the Initiative? As most everyone knows, Gian Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Garson had the idea for the Initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. Oh my god, there he goes again. As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Oof. <laughs> you know, Addison was like, I was a little kind of eh about her. I can understand why she's like that though so i don't like dislike her but this guy i'm really starting to dislike him all right let's talk about something else uh something something else how about your role as director of the initiative are you in charge around here or what if the others would allow me they don't see me as the rightful successor why the doubt what's their problem with you I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management. My God, he's an then accountant. Seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. He's an accountant. Oh, no. So... You're an accountant? <laughs> Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. <laughs> 
CEO of the company I currently work for started as an accountant for the company before eventually becoming CEO. After taking over for a very charismatic guy, it's a very interesting uh, juxtaposition, <laughs> their personalities. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on site can be discouraging. <laughs> you don't also, say. scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. Like, I was going to say, like, outposts, but no, outposts are the the habitats but the, okay the habitats are the planets but the habitats are called outposts but all right tell me about forward stations what can you tell me about forward stations i was afraid you'd ask <laughs> it's mostly what the engineers tell me a forward station allows mining equipment repairs and resupply for field teams i mean who wouldn't want that but seeing as how every colonization effort has failed it's just theory at the moment you get to test it out Ryder. Great. Goodbye. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. As you pointed out, we need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success. Yeah, and I hope that you'll be, like, less spacist and terrible in the future. Speak to... Oh, I have to investigate murder evidence. So I'm going to have to just go out to the... To the planet, but I can't quite leave yet, I think. Because there's nowhere I can actually go yet. Well, there's that. Oh, no, that's just pointing up. That's just a stair. You know, we'll just switch over. Because I can't really do anything at the moment. I have to go to the body next. Alright, we'll set up. Oh. Better beginning. Alright, I'll head back to the Hyperion. And I'm going to save when I get there, so I'll just run over there, and I'll stand at the next point and save, and then I'll check out. Back on the Hyperion, and I'm going to stop here. I don't want to go too far and risk something like auto-starting. So I'm going to save here, and we'll pick back up next time to find out what Sam's got for us. So until then, good night. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.